What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Link here, UDR. So I got a little quick update on the, the Limitless. So I went ahead and took off the front canards on it. Also, I trimmed out the rear spoiler, chopped that down. And also, I, mean, I switched up a little bit. So I put the wheels that was on my um, uh, wrestler on here. It's not, uh, people already did it, but I just think it looks pretty cool. So I swapped it out. So I put these wheels on my wrestler. So I get a quick sneak peek. So I my wrestler up here with the limitless wheels on it. She looking real good, y'all. I like the quick little paint job I did on that. I had an extra body sitting around. She looking real good. And I got the Fortec over here, of course. Try a little something with her. A little paint job action. As well with the wrestler. Cool, so. And then also, something I did, man, because I was trying to adjust the uh, ride height on it, but like I just know, it's pretty hard to get to it, man. Especially in the in the front, though. So what I did was, I drilled two, a little hole right here. See, in this one, I drilled a hole so my, so my tool could go right down in there. And then so I could, you know, so I could reach the, uh, the, like, the grub screw down in there so I could set the ride height. Because I couldn't get it to save my life without that hole in there, because it's way buried in there, man. It's some light in there, but yeah, so I'm trying to give it a quick little run outside, man. Just to give it a quick run. I still got a 3S, two 3S's, the stock BLX, stock uh, motor. Got the year racing fan on it. XT90 connectors. Uh, what else? I got the Save Ox. Uh, what's that? Got the Save Ox 12.5 uh, ATG on there. Got my Garmin GPS on the back. Um, I got the front lowered, sifting up the ride a little bit. I'm take it outside, give it a quick ride, y'all. Y'all right, stay but tuned. I thought I charged up, but it's not charged. So I'm going to run it real quick with my phone. I reached a little test spot out here. It's running around. Just to check it out. It's got a new uh, suspension set up. New wheels. All that good stuff. Um, the last time I ran it, I got 59.3 miles an hour. Same setup I did was take the canards off trimmed the rear spoiler and I put the other wheels on it but the wheels shouldn't do much but definitely see uh, about the less resistance there's a little more sleek now I won't be able to you know record it but I'm using my phone as I do the run so the GPS is uh, established I can show you the last run was 59.3 what I had with it so I'm going to go ahead and clear it clear it out all right, get started. Auto pause. There you go. 0.5 miles. All right, y'all stay tuned, man. I can't. I'm not sure you're holding the drive at the same time. All right, guys. It's on the rain out here, but I got 59.4. So I gained 0.1 with cutting down the taking the canals off and cutting them down. We try one more quick one before the rain comes down too hard. Still on the guy. 59.4 guys. That's what I got. Alright All right, guys, so I'm back in the house. Quick little run. It started raining on me. You see I got my GoPro charged and I thought I had it charged when it was dead. But anyways, uh, like I said, I mean at these speeds I'm sure it wouldn't show a whole lot different, but I'm sure if I'm doing like over hundred, that point one difference in taking off the canard front canard and trimming the rear spoiler down, I'm sure it'll be a much you know, greater difference at those higher speeds. But I mean, again, it made a difference and just, you know, my, my, this car does 59.4 miles an hour now, not 0.3, which faster is faster, man. Um, just a little quick experiment to see what difference it makes. It definitely does make a difference. Um, not a lot at these speeds, but I'm sure higher speeds make a difference in miles per hour and aerodynamics. Um, also, when I told you about when I cut the, uh, Drill that hole right here, you can see it. So I can put my, my the Allen keys on there, adjust the suspension. I use, these are old, I had uh, these for a minute. Uh, see if you guys can focus. Okay, you can see it. But these are the Team Intergy uh, Allen keys. He's been beat, I had this for like shit, over 10 years, man. But they work great. I use a drill, this is my drill that I use to drill out. This is a 1 8 bit. I said I just kind of quarter right here. 
I just started working it, man. I just cut it. And it works great, man. Can't complain. I can get access to the um, droop screws so I can set the ride height on it. So I can set it down low or high or whatever. So there's no sag in the suspension. When the car takes off, it doesn't, it has no, you know, traveling suspension. It's pretty much locked in. Um, like I said, ran great. Out the hole, wide open, pull straight, no drifting, no kicking out. Uh, these tires work well as well. On Also on this car, I like to look better with these spokes than um, with the dish that's on the Rustler. See, I was trying to um, get some quick running in today, but the rain came out again, kind of messed me up, but she got some water all on the car. The shock by the way, got some water, but it's all, it wasn't too much, ain't too bad. But yeah, man, yo, thanks for watching. If you have any, any uh, comments, any um, you know, input on this car, like I said, I mean, I'm pretty much trying to get it set up to do some speed runs. Um, I said the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this for maybe a month or two to set up, and I'm gonna get the um, the TP, and I'm thinking between the Max Five, XLX, and the new Mamba Monster ADS system. You know, let me know in the comments. You know, which one y'all ran with that setup? I'm trying to do the TP. Uh, I think. 4070, I might do the TB, TB 4070, 2200 KB, and I'm trying to do an ADS. But the thing is, I'm a drag race and speed run with ADS. I probably wouldn't drag race with um, speed run gearing, but I definitely want to keep it on ADS if possible. So y'all let me know in the comments, man. Any, um, any input, you know, say any insight on the setup, how I should set this car up to do those. Guys. I got my infraction over here. This one's pretty much like so. She's all stock. But I have. I am running the capture on this one, Ripple Killer. I said still 3s. Pretty much the same setup as the Limitless right now. Um, actually, not the gearing though. This is a typical, you know, uh, 46, 27 on that. This one right right now has the 50 tooth um, spur, and I got an 18 tooth uh, pinion. But uh, I got the, um, a 46 tooth spur coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna do 4627 on this, or maybe 4625. Um, so it'll be definitely a lot faster. Like I said, right now 59.4. Um, I can imagine it being at least 82, 83 miles an hour with a new uh, gearing I put in here. But again, thanks for watching, man. Appreciate it. All right, I'm out.